we can no longer ignore the fact that active shootings are on the rise. They can happen anywhere, at any time. Many companies have reacted to these attacks by creating products or training. However, these responses are often not effective solutions. The false sense of security comes from the narrative that this isn't going to happen. And what they're doing is leaning heavily on people that don't know what they're doing, don't understand what's going on in the shooting, and they just want that narrative platform of, I have a solution. And the same goes with products. A lot of these multi-billion dollar companies have kind of a solution that could be put in place and it appears to be a solution until an attack happens and it doesn't work at all. And it's something that we need to address. It's not something we need to scare staff, scare students, but we should be aware, come up with the plans, put in products that actually work and not fake stuff. Preparation is a critical measure every organization should take when dealing with active shooter scenarios. The best line of defense is a comprehensive solution that includes a well thought out emergency action plan, one that's designed to your building's specific needs along with protective products. So schools primarily never, you know, really think about active shooter being an issue. Teachers don't sign up for that, right? Teachers aren't signing up to think that they would have to protect their schools from shooters inside of their classrooms. And so, you know, we naturally knew that training somebody would give them the best chances to survive. We knew that we had to also slow down an attacker and then speed up police response as well. So assessing a building on the police mentality, what it's going to take for a police officer to come to that building, understand how to get into that building and identify where where they need to go immediately. And then also, what can we do to create an obstacle to slow down that active shooter? We realize that glass is the easiest way to get into any building. It doesn't matter if it's your car, it could be your house, it could be a school, a church. That is the easiest way into a building if you have just normal glass. And so studying the history of attacks, studying what has happened in the past and understanding where these people are entering in through schools, we learn that if we harden up the glass, we create an obstacle, slowing down the active shooter, giving the people inside a better chance to respond and save their own lives. It's hard to explain the heart of a teacher, right? Because if you haven't walked in, in their shoes, you really truly do not understand what it means. And the majority of teachers, right, they would lay their life on the line to save their student. You know, I don't, I don't really fully know how to explain it, but there is something that happens to you when you're responsible for our youth. And we really do a disservice by not providing teachers with the resources and the knowledge to know that they have options in the event of a tragic situation. Active shooter training is so important. Not to say that glass and film isn't important, because it is, it's, an, it's another security measure, but you can have the best glass, you can have the best film, but if your staff isn't trained properly in the event of an active shooter situation, to some degree, it doesn't matter what you have in place in terms of the physical structure of the building. Armored One's team of subject matter experts work tirelessly to educate Americans on the data and statistics behind attacks and to provide effective solutions to help address them. There is no such thing as too safe when it comes to protecting lives. This company got its start really Sandy Hook, December 14th, 2012. And I said, I'm done relying on other people to keep my kids safe. I'm going to do something, and this is how Armored One got its start. How can you not get involved in trying to save kids' lives in schools? So Armored One has uh, four divisions of the company. It has a glass side, a film side, uh, security assessments, and then training. Our primary goal at One Training is to provide training at the bare minimum. We, we know that schools struggle with finances. We know that they are on a budget, and we often know that security measures are not necessarily a priority. And so we want to offer them something at, you know, at the lowest rate possible to get in because we are so passionate about getting our teachers trained. We want them to have a fighting chance. You know, teachers and staff that work in schools, really their first and foremost is to protect the students that they serve. You know, a lot of people say, oh, that's happening somewhere else. It's never going to happen here. And I think I've always had the attitude that we can't bank on it's never gonna happen here. And if it does, we're gonna be prepared. It's in the second district that I worked in, within two weeks of us getting the film um, put on at least this main entry area, we did have an incident. We had a student um, that hadn't been attending school, showed up, um, had a weapon. We had everything locked down. You know, the, the student comes into a, an area and everything else is locked down. 
and there's a, a person that sits there and opens up the doors once everybody's been cleared. Well, this student walked in, didn't listen to anybody. We did have a desk that wasn't nailed down and the student you know, tried to bang, tried to do anything they could, picked the desk up, you know, rammed against the windows, took forever, right, for the, it, so it was about eight minutes before that student even gained access, which allowed for us to lock all the internal doors, put everybody in lockdown, call law enforcement, and do what we needed to do. And I, I believe strongly that we saved lives that day. You, you say it can happen, and when it does happen, then people start to say, you know, whoa, you know, this is really what Kim's been talking about. Um, and so that, that really helped us continue to make that investment over time. Not a single standard has been created for school security into standards and codes. Really the future of Armored One is to make such a difference in this industry that we are creating these minimum standards, that we are finally leaving a mark in this industry in a way that we technically aren't really going to be needed as much in the future. Uh, we can rely on the architects to make the right decisions, the superintendents to make the right decisions, to have the laws and codes in place that we're not guessing on how to do school security. We know how to do school security. Now it's just a matter of making it uh, implemented throughout the United States. Armored One, solutions that save lives. Visit armoredone.com today to learn more.